had a good dog. Good job. Yes, good girl. When New York City announced plans to spend tens of millions fighting rats, the public reaction was swift and divided. 30 million for rodents, critics demanded. We have bigger problems to solve. You can probably understand both sides of this debate. Public funds are precious, and spending priorities matter deeply to communities across America. Yet the threat these creatures pose extends far beyond simple inconvenience. What emerged from this controversy reveals something inspiring about American communities. When neighbors began working together, sharing knowledge, and taking responsibility for their blocks, remarkable changes occurred. The transformation from public skepticism to community cooperation demonstrates how Americans tackle challenges when they understand what's truly at stake. The techniques that brought people together and the results they achieved offer lessons for communities everywhere. To understand why rats are everywhere today, we need to go back to how they first got here. Brown rats didn't start in America. They came from Asia as stowaways on ships in the 1700s. When those ships pulled into ports like Boston and New York, rats walked right off. They found everything they needed. Food scraps from the docks, warm hiding spots in sewers, growing cities full of opportunities. Ever since then, Rats have followed Americans wherever we've built our lives. They're not scared of people like other wild animals. Instead, they've learned to live right next to us. And that's what makes them so dangerous. Here's a number that will shock you. One female rat can have 150 babies in just one year. Think about that for a minute. Two rats can turn into 15,000 rats in 12 months if everything goes their way. Now multiply that by the millions of rats already out there. Their bodies are built like little Olympic athletes. Rats climb brick walls like they're walking on flat ground. They swim through flooded sewers. They squeeze through holes the size of a quarter. They remember routes through your house better than you remember routes to the grocery store. But here's what most people don't know. Rats aren't just tough. They're smart, really smart. In old Europe, people blamed rats for spreading the plague. In modern New York, they've become famous in videos like Pizza Rat, dragging a slice down subway stairs. People joke about them, complain about them, even curse them. But behind all the jokes is a hard truth. Rats are here to stay. They're not just pests. They're survivors who use everything we build for ourselves. Most folks think rats are just a nuisance, something that scratches in the walls at night, maybe runs across the garage floor. The truth is much scarier than that. Let's talk about disease first. Rats are like walking germ factories. Their waste gets into food and water supplies. They spread serious illnesses like salmonella. Studies in big cities show that half of all rats carry germs that can make people very sick. But that's not the worst part. Rats have teeth that never stop growing, so they have to chew constantly to keep them short. And guess what they love to chew? The electrical wires in your walls. Here's a fact that might keep you up at night. Fire experts think rats cause up to 25% of house fires where they can't figure out what started it. That's thousands of American homes every year. One rat chewing the wrong wire that can burn down everything you've worked for. The damage doesn't stop there. Rats chew through wood, insulation, even plastic pipes. Homeowners can face thousands of dollars in repairs they never saw coming. There's another cost too. The fear factor. Families living with rats describe it like being under constant attack. They check every piece of food. They seal everything in containers. They avoid their own basements. Here's what makes this really frustrating. It doesn't matter where you live. Brooklyn apartment or Iowa farm, Rats cause the same problems. They turn every crack in your defenses into their front door. Have you ever found rats in your home? And what did you do about it? Share your experience in the comments below. But people have never just sat back and taken it. And the first weapons in this war go back generations.
For as long as rats have bothered people, Americans have fought back. The first tools were simple. Wooden snap traps that kill instantly. Poison mixed with food that rats can't resist. These methods work because they're cheap and anyone can use them. You can buy them at any hardware store. Set them yourself. But here's the problem. Rats learn fast. A trap that works today might be ignored tomorrow. That's why people brought in animal allies. Cats, of course, are natural-born rat killers. Their patience and lightning-fast reflexes make them perfect for the job. But when rat problems got really big, people called in the specialists, terrier dogs. These small, fearless hunters were bred specifically to catch rats. Even today, dog teams in London and New York use their terriers to clear rats from alleys and parks. Watching these dogs work is like watching master craftsmen. They move with incredible speed and teamwork. In just minutes, they can eliminate dozens of rats. It's not just pest control, it's an art form passed down through generations. The most amazing example comes from rural America. A man named Joseph Carter, known as the Mink Man, trains Mink to hunt alongside his dogs. Mink can squeeze into tight spaces where dogs can't go. They flush rats out, and the terriers finish the job. On one farm, Carter's team cleared hundreds of rats in just hours. Watching them work is like seeing a symphony of animal instincts and human training. It's pest control elevated to a craft. These old school methods teach us something important. Fighting rats has always been about being clever, resourceful, and working with nature. But as cities got bigger and rat problems got worse, people needed more powerful tools. Just comment one if you like it, comment zero if you don't. Yeah. She I had a good dog. Good job. Yes, good girl. Good mink. Good mink. Oh, huh? there you go, boss. Good boy. As cities grew and rat problems got more complicated, the old methods couldn't keep up. That's when modern technology stepped in. Today's rat control looks more like science fiction than pest control. Picture this. Pest control experts now use air rifles with heat-seeking scopes. These quiet weapons are safe for cities, but deadly accurate. At night, the heat scopes show every rat hiding in the dark, even the tiny ones. Professional teams can eliminate hundreds of rats in one evening. It takes years of training and steady hands. These operators are like snipers, but instead of military targets, they're protecting families from disease and fire. Cities have invested millions in new technology too. New York spent over $30 million on special garbage containers designed to keep rats out. Electronic traps use sensors to detect rats, then deliver an instant shock. These smart traps even send text messages to pest control teams when they catch something. The most exciting development comes from genetic research. Scientists studying rats in different parts of New York discovered something amazing. Rats, just a few miles apart, have different DNA. This opens the door to solutions that target specific rat populations without harming other animals. Some researchers are even working on contraceptive baits that stop rats from having babies. Others are exploring ways to alter rat DNA to limit reproduction. It sounds like something from a movie, but it's real science happening right now. But here's the catch. All this technology still depends on people who know what they're doing. A trap placed wrong is useless. A garbage container that isn't maintained properly gets defeated quickly. What these new tools really show is human determination. People refuse to give up in the face of a problem that's been around for centuries. Individual technology is powerful, 
but beating rats takes entire neighborhoods working as a team. And this is where the real controversy began. When New York City announced they would spend tens of millions fighting rats, the backlash was fierce. $30 million for rodents? Critics demanded. We have homeless people, crumbling schools, and you want to waste money on rats? The debate raged everywhere. Town halls, newspapers, social media. Some called it government waste. Others argued it was about protecting families from disease and fire. The city was divided. In 2017, they went ahead anyway. They targeted the worst neighborhoods, trying to cut rat populations by 70%. New garbage containers, more inspectors, heavy fines for careless property owners. At first, the results were mixed. Where everyone participated, rat numbers dropped dramatically, but even one careless neighbor could ruin an entire block's progress. Critics said, see, we told you it was a waste. Then something beautiful happened. Communities began to understand that rats need three simple things, food, water, and shelter. Take away all three, and they move somewhere else. Leave just one source available, and they multiply like crazy. Smart neighbors started working together. They inspected their own properties. They reported problems quickly. They stored garbage properly and kept yards clean. Not because government told them to, but because they cared about each other. Volunteer rat patrol groups formed across the city. These dedicated folks helped exterminators and taught neighbors what works. They shared videos online showing proper garbage storage, the best traps, early warning signs. Suddenly, those expensive programs weren't just about spending money. They were about bringing people together. Neighbors who hadn't spoken in years were working side by side to protect their families. What emerged was something uniquely American, people taking responsibility for their communities, sharing knowledge freely, looking out for each other. Skeptics who had criticized the spending now saw families sleeping peacefully, children playing safely in parks that had been rat infested just months before. Success takes constant attention. Rats always look for new opportunities, but when Americans come together like this, there's no challenge we can't face. This is the America we want to see, Neighbors helping neighbors. Communities solving problems together. People who argued about the cost now sharing success stories and teaching others what works. In this fight, every person matters. From city officials to homeowners, we're all soldiers on the same battlefield, and that's what makes us American. But while cities battle rats, another war broke out far from the skyscrapers. On a remote island, Farmers faced millions of mice threatening to destroy everything in one year. How they turn the tide will amaze you. Tap the video on your screen or check the description to watch How Farmers Eradicated Millions of Mice on the Island in One Year. You won't want to miss it.